Let us stand and listen to the Holy Gospel according to John. The Lord said to his disciples, I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate manna in the desert and they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven so that one may eat it and not die. I am the living bread that comes down from heaven, and whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread I give him is my flesh for the life of the world. There were Jews there who quarreled among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? But John said, Amen, amen, I say to you, Unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him on the last day. Slava Isusu Christu. Good morning, everyone, and welcome. Welcome all of you also who are joining us online. And you know who else welcomes us? Ted welcomes us. He welcomes you to thank you for your gift. 
the gift of prayer, the only gift that he can now receive. I know when I first heard uh, the words that Jesus said, that nothing imperfect ever enters heaven. Whoa, I said, I, that excludes me. But then I heard, no, God in his mercy prepared a place where we are made perfect, where we are purified. We call that place purgatory. The, the Catholic Catechism, interestingly enough, refers to purgatory as a place of God's mercy because there we are purified. But the ones in purgatory, when we get to purgatory, we cannot pray for ourselves. However, all of us on earth, we can pray for the person in purgatory. And we can shorten or totally, you no, know, spring him out of purgatory by tonight if all of you offer your prayers. That's why prayers at the funeral mass are so important. So offer your, the mass now. Offer it for the intention, the needs of Ted. All of you at home, offer the mass as well. And perhaps during the day, offer a rosary. All of this will help him. Many people, of course, they, they pray for, for those that have uh, that have gone back to the Father, they pray every day. They remember him every single day. And on special days, like after 40 days, after, on their anniversaries, etc. So um, welcome, everyone. Welcome, Christine. I'm glad that you're here to, to sing us. And uh, Doug will be here also to, to read, do the reading. And Ken will do the eulogy. So it's good to have all of you here. Let us begin. Blessed be the kingdom of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. In peace let us pray to the Lord. For peace from an high, the salvation of souls, let us pray to the Lord. Peace throughout the world, the well-being of God's church is unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. This holy church, all who enter with faith, reverence, fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Our holy universal pontiff, Francis, Pope of Rome, let us pray to the Lord. Our major archbishop, Shatislaw, Metropolitan Lawrence, and God-loving Bishop David, for the priest, the diaconate in Christ, the clergy, the people, let us pray to the Lord. Our nation under God, our government, the military, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for the city of Edmonton, for this church, and for all the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord faithful weather, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For seafarers, travelers, the sick, the suffering, captives, and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the servant of God, Ted, his blessed memory and the forgiveness of his offenses, voluntary and voluntary, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That he may stand blameless before the awesome tribunal of Christ, gain entry into the land of the living place of light where the just repose, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have that we be delivered from tribulation, wrath, and misfortune. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have Help mercy. save, have mercy, protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Remembering our holy, immaculate, blessed, glorious Lady, Mother of God, ever Virgin Mary, with all your saints, let us commend ourselves one another, a whole life to Christ our God. To for all glory, honor, worship befit you, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. It is good to give praise to the Lord and to sing to your name, O Most High, through the prayers the of the Mother of God, O 
merciful Savior, save us to announce your mercy in the morning and your truth every night. Through the prayers of the Mother of God, O Savior, save us. For the Lord our God is righteous, and there is no injustice in him. Through the prayers of the Mother of God, O Savior, save us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Only begotten Son and Word of God, you are immortal, and you will for our salvation to be made flesh of the Holy Mother of God and ever Virgin Mary. And without change you became man, you were crucified, O Christ, O God, and trampled death by death. You are one of the Holy Trinity, glorified with the Holy Spirit. Save us. Again, again, in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help and save, have mercy, protect us, God, by your grace. Lord, Remember, mercy. Holy Immaculate, Blessed, Glorious Lady, Mother of God, Ever Virgin Mary, together with the saints, commend ourselves one another, whole life to Christ our God. You, For you are a good, loving God, we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim God our Savior, Son of God, wonderful in the saints. Save us who sing to you, alleluia. Let us come before his face with praise and acclaim him in psalms. Son of God, wonderful in the saints. Save us who sing to you, alleluia. For God is the great Lord and the great King over all the earth. Son of God, wonderful in the saints, save us who sing to you, alleluia. Wisdom, stand arise. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ. Son of God, wonderful in the saints, save us who sing to you, alleluia. Remember your servants, O Lord, because of your goodness, and forgive all the sins they committed in life. For no one is sinless but you. You can give rest to the departed. With profound wisdom and love for mankind, you arrange all things and bestow beneficial things upon all. O only Creator and Lord, Grant rest to the soul of your servants, for they have placed their hope in you, our God, who made and shaped us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. To the souls of your servants, O Christ, grant rest among the saints, where there is no pain, no sorrow, no mourning, but only life without end. In you we have a rampart and a haven, and an intercessor most acceptable to God, whom you bore, O Virgin Mother of God, salvation of the faithful. For you are God, are holy, we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever.
to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Let us be attentive. Peace be with all wisdom. Let us be attentive. Their souls shall dwell in a happy place. Their souls shall dwell in a happy place. To you, o Lord, I have lifted up my soul. Their souls shall dwell in a happy place. Their souls shall dwell in a The first reading now, Ken. St. Paul's letter to the Thessalonians. Brethren, I do not want you to be unaware about those who have fallen asleep, so that you may not grieve like the rest who have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose, and so too will God, through Jesus, bring with him those who have fallen asleep. Indeed, we tell you this on the word of the Lord, that we who are alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will surely not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself, with a word of command, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet of God, will come down from heaven, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Thus we shall always be with the Lord. Peace be with you, Ken. Wisdom, let us be attentive. Alleluia, Your kind of desire for a spiritual life to be known and that pleases you. Let us give glory to you, dear Father, holy life, give the spirit and Blessed are they whom you have chosen and taken to yourself, O Lord, and let their memory be from generation to generation. Alleluia. Let us stand and listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. A reading of the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory be to you, o Lord. Glory be to you. Let us be attentive. The Lord said to his disciples, Let not your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many mansions. Were it not so, I should have told you, because I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place, I am coming again. And I will take you to myself. Where I am, you may also be. And where I go, you know the way. But Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? And Jesus said, I am the way. 
I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but through me. If you had known me, you would have known my Father. But even now you do know him. And Philip said, Lord, just show us the Father. That'll be enough. But Jesus said, I have been with you such a long time, Philip, and you have not known. How can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe, Philip, that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words I speak, I speak not on my authority, but the Father dwelling in me. It is he who does the works. Believe me, believe I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. I was remembering a particular class I once had many, many years ago. It was in the um, Gregorian University in Rome. Um, the, the professor was a Jesuit priest, a very well-known, very beautiful man. And uh, everybody loved his class because he was so predictable, you know. He would always come in as soon as the bell went and... Uh, he would go and turn to the blackboard. There was a blackboard at that time. He would write the topic that he would speak on. And then he would put the chalk down, come to the podium, and begin his lecture. So we were all comfortable with that. And he did that for a long time, for months, I think. So he, if the lecture wasn't all that interesting, you know, there were about 300 of us in this huge, huge auditorium. And um, uh, I remember sitting way up there, and uh, with the others, you know, sometimes I would finish my crossword puzzle or, or, or maybe a novel that I hadn't finished, you know. And then one day, he chose his MO, you know, his modus operandi. He started the same, he came, took a chalk, he wrote on the board the topic. And I remember the topic, three words. Who are you? He put the chalk down, but instead of going to the podium, he went down where we were, and he looked around, and he pointed to one, and he said, Who are you? The seminarian was very caught off guard. He said, "Me? Oh, I'm Jonathan Smith. That's all he said. So Father Bernini looked at him, and he said, so you identify with your name. You're a name. <laughs> That's who you are. You're just a name. And he asked someone else, and who are you? And the person said, well, I am a musician. And I, I, I can, I can uh, play many, many instruments, and I also write my own music. And he stopped. So the professor looked at him and says, so you identify with your profession, with your occupation. You're, you're a musician. You're a name. And then he said to someone else, and who are you? The third person was rather large, and he kind of got up. Well, you see who I am. All of me is here, you know, with all my feelings and emotions. And Father looked at him, and he said, so you identify with your body. You identified with your name, you with your occupation, you identified with your body. But you know that in, in uh, class, if you remember, especially in university classes, but also in, in, in other class you may have had, there are actually there are people who read ahead, you know, who read the professor's notes or his book, and uh, somebody raised their hand. He was surprised and said, yes. And that person said, who am I? I am a spiritual being, a spiritual being created by God and temporarily living in this body. And the professor smiled. 
father smiled because he got the answer he wanted. An eternal spiritual being. Sometimes we forget that. We're eternal. I remember seeing movies sometimes, and it was people thought, wow, there are people who live forever, immortals. I wish I was one. We are one. We live forever. This is only the start of our eternal life. Eternal beings created by God and temporarily living in this body. A body that when it gets old, we discard because we can no longer. It is a painful thing to live in it at the end. I know that Ted never forgot who he was. A spiritual, eternal being. He never forgot that this planet, this earth, is not our final goal. We're not meant to be here long. We're just passing through. The port to which our ship has to land us, the port is eternity. We're just passing through. Sometimes, especially when you're young, we forget that. Ted never forgot that. I loved what, what uh, Julian, Julian Borava, a good friend of his, and of course, a fellow knight of Columbus. He, when he was talking about Ted, he said he was my go-to guy. Whenever Julian was, would always have to get the knights uh, for, um, uh, for uh, whenever the bishop was there, to, uh, to be his honor guard. And sometimes he had difficulty. He said, I knew I could always count on Ted. Because Ted not only said yes, Ted was friendly. He always volunteered, and he volunteered with a smile. And I guess that's, that's, that was Ted. Julian couldn't have said it better. I know that through all, the, all of his volunteering work that he did, he gained a lot of points. I'm not sure how those points work in the other world, but I'm sure that they will help him uh, when he met, and they helped him when he met our Lord um, at the moment in which he passed through what we call death, but which is really a kind of a stargate. Death is, is, a, is a portal through which we enter eternity. And I'm sure when he entered eternity, there were a lot of good things that were in his favor. But I know, too, that one of the things he's very grateful for are your prayers today. Don't just sit and waste it. Offer this Mass and offer prayers today. Offer a rosary for Ted. And we'll spring him by evening out of there. Let us all say with the whole soul of whole mind, let us say. Lord, have mercy. Almighty Lord, God of our fathers, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy, God, in the greatness of your compassion, we pray hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We pray for Universal Pontiff Francis, Pope of Rome, our main church, Bishop Shetislaw, Metropolitan Lawrence, God-loving Bishop David, Brother Kimbright Genesi, Prati Human, Gabriel Human, Seraphim, for all who served in this church, our spiritual fathers, all our brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. We pray for our nation under God, our government, for the military. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. And we pray for the repose of the soul of Ted, who has fallen asleep, that the Lord may place his soul where all the just repose. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. And we pray for the people present here who await your bountiful mercies, who have been kind to us for all Orthodox Christians. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For you are merciful and loving God, we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen.
Again, again in peace, let the faithful pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Wisdom that protected by your might, we give glory to you, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Let us who mystically represent the cherubim and sing the The Lord God remember in his kingdom our holy universal pontiff, Francis, Pope of Rome, our mate judge, Bishop Shatislaw, Metropolitan Lawrence, God-loving Bishop David, Father Kimbred Genezi, Prati Human Gabriel, Human Seraphim, for all the priestly diaconal religious orders, for our nation under God, our government, and the military, for the noble ever to be remembered founders and benefactors of this holy church. And may the Lord God remember in his kingdom all you Christians of the true faith, all these and forever. Amen. That we may receive the King of all, escorted invisibly by ranks of angels. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Let us complete our prayer to the Lord. For the precious gifts have been presented, let us pray to the Lord. Lord this holy church, although entered with faith, reverence, fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord that we be delivered from all tribulation, wrath, and misfortune, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son, whom you are blessed, with your holy, good, life-giving spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. Let us love one another so we be of one mind in confessing. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Trinity, one in being and undivided. The doors, the doors, in wisdom, let us be attentive. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, one in being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, by the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. 
For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered, died, and was buried. On the third day he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us stand well, let us stand with fear, let us be attentive to offer in peace the holy oblation. The mercy of peace, the sacrifice of The praise. grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. Them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is right and just to worship the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the Trinity. Though they stand before thousands of our kings. Tens of thousands in the cherubim, the seven, the six wing, many eyed, hovering aloft on their wings, singing, crying, exclaiming, and saying the triumphal hymn. Holy, holy, holy Lord With these blessed of flowers, This is my body, which is broken for you for the forgiveness of sin. In the same manner, he took the cup after the supper, saying, Amen. Drink of it, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. We offer to you yours of your own in behalf of all and for all. We sing of you, we bless you. Whether we offer you this rational body worship, Send your spirit upon us in these gifts your present. Make this bread the precious blood of your Christ, and the chalice the precious blood of your Christ, changing them by your Holy Spirit. Amen, amen, amen. The day be for communicant sobriety of soul, forgiveness of sins, fellowship of your Holy Spirit, fulfillment of God's kingdom, confidence before you, not judgment or condemnation. We offer you this rational worship for all who have gone to rest in faith. Forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, save a righteous soul that finished this life in faith. Especially for most holy, immaculate, blessed, glorious Lady, Mother of God, and ever Virgin Mary. It is truly right to bless you, O God bearing one, as the ever blessed and immaculate Mother of our God. More honorable than the cherubim, and by far more glorious than the seraphim. Ever virgin, you gave birth to God the Word. O true Mother of God, we magnify you.
Among the first remember, Lord, our Universal Pontiff Francis, Pope of Rome, our Major Archbishop Shetislaw, our Metropolitan Lords, and God-loving Bishop David, for the sake of your churches, grant that they live in peace, safe to honor health for many years, and rightly impart the word of your truth. And remember, O and travelers and in the capital salvation, those who bear fruit doing good works, remembering the poor, send down your mercy upon all of us, and grant with one voice, one heart, we glorify, sing the praises, your honored, magnificent name, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. And may the mercies of our great God, our Savior, Jesus Christ, be with all of you. And with your spirit. You may sit. Again, again, in having remembered the saints, in peace let us pray to the Lord. For the precious gifts which have been presented and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Let our loving God, who received them as a spiritual fragrance on his holy, heavenly, mystical altar, may send on us in return divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. That we be delivered from all tribulation, wrath, and misfortune, let us pray to the Lord. Help and save, have mercy, and protect us, O God, by your grace. That this whole day be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask the Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. The forgiveness and remission of our sins and offenses, let us ask the Lord. All that is good, beneficial for our souls and for peace in the world, let us ask the Lord. That we spend the rest of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. For a Christian end to our life, one that's painless and shamed and peaceful, a good defense to the awesome tribunal of Christ, let us ask the Lord. Lord. Having asked you into your faith, fellowship of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves to one another and our whole life to Christ our God. And make us worthy, Master, with confidence, without condemnation, to dare call you the heavenly God, Father, and say, Our Father, who who art in heaven, hallowed be thy thy name. Thy Thy kingdom kingdom come, come, thy thy will will be done done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, power, the glory are yours, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. And bow your heads to the Lord. To you, we give you thanks, invisible King. For your infinite power, you created all things. In your mercy, brought all things from nothingness into being. Look down from heaven, Master, upon those who bow their heads. They have not bowed to flesh and blood, but to you, the awesome God. And therefore, Master, make smooth the ways that lie before us for our good and in accord with each one's personal need. Sail with seafarers, travel with travelers, heal the sick physician of our souls and bodies. Through the grace, mercies, loving kindness, your only begotten Son, whom you are blessed, your holy, good, life-giving spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Attend, Lord Jesus, the holy dwelling throne of glory, come to sanctify us, seated with the Father, invisibly present here with us. Deign to give to us with your mighty hand, pure body, precious blood, through us to all the people. God, be merciful to me, a sinner. God, be merciful to me, a sinner. God, be merciful to me. Let us be attentive, the holy things for the holy. One is holy, broken one the is Lord, of God, broken Lord, the Jesus Christ, 
the fullness the of the Holy Spirit. Of Father, Amen. Most precious Father, for Lord Blessed Jesus Christ, whom you have chosen, to to and, and taken to yourself, O Lord. And let their memory be from generation to generation. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. I believe, O Lord, and confess that you are truly Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am first. Accept me this day, O Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. I will not tell the mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as to Judas, but like the thief I confess to you. Remember me, O Lord, when you come into your kingdom. Remember me, O Master, when you come into your kingdom. Remember me, O Holy One, when you come into your kingdom. May the partaking of your holy mysteries, O Lord, be unto me not for judgment or condemnation, but for the healing of soul and body. God, be merciful to me, a sinner. God, cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. I have sinned without number. Forgive me, O Lord. Approach with the fear of God, with love and with faith. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. God, the Lord has appeared to us. Let me receive you, O Christ, Savior and Sovereign, O Guest Divine. Come and give life to my soul, and let me share life sublime. Come and give life to my soul, and let me share life sublime. Christo Oh, 
Save your people, O oh God, and bless your inheritance. We have seen the true light. We have received the heavenly spirit. We have found the true faith. We worship the undivided trinity for having saved us. Blessed be our God, always, now, and forever, and ever. Most be faced with your praise, O Lord, that we may sing of your glory. For you made us worthy to partake of your holy, divine, immortal, and life giving mysteries. Preserve us in your holiness, that we may meditate all the day upon your justice. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Stand aright, having received the divine, holy, immaculate, immortal, heavenly, life-giving mysteries of Christ. Let us rightly give thanks to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help and save. Have mercy. Protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Having asked this whole day, be perfect, holy, peaceful, sinless, let us command ourselves to one another a whole life to Christ our God. To you, Lord. For you are our sanctification. We give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, be blessed, O so bless you, sanctify all who trust in you, save your people, bless your inheritance, protect the fullness of your church, sanctify those who love the beauty of your house, glorify them by your divine power, do not forsake us a hope in you, grant peace to your world, to the churches, the priests, to our nation, and the God, our government, to all your people, for all good giving, every perfect gift is from above. Coming down from you, the Father of lights, we are in their glory, thanks and worship, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord now and forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord now and forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Now and forever. The blessing of the Lord be upon you with his grace, his love for mankind, all is now and forever and ever. Amen. Glory be to you, Christ God, our hope. Glory be to you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, give the blessing. Christ, our true God, who is power over the living and the dead, the praises, Immaculate Mother, the holy, glorious, praiseworthy apostles, our godly fathers and all the saints, will place the soul of his servant, Ken, or his servant, Ted, who has fallen asleep, in the abodes of the just, will give him rest in the bosom of Abraham and number him among the just, and have mercy in us, for he is good and loves mankind. Amen. At this point, I'd like to call Ken up for the eulogy, so we hear a little bit about the life.
Slava Isusu Christu. Slava Naviki. Mum, you can hear me okay? That's good. Today I will be speaking the thoughts and memories. Better? That's as high as it can go. Today I will be speaking the thoughts and memories of my brothers and sister in their words. Dad was born in Edson in 1932, the eldest of two children. His father started working for CN Railway and they moved to Edmonton. Dad would travel with his father to work on bridges around Alberta. He would enjoy staying in the bunkhouses and swimming outdoors with his dad. He spent lots of his childhood watching over his sister Vera. They would attend parties together and he thoughtfully cared for his sister. Throughout their years, Dad became very close friends with Vera's husband Rick. They golfed together and enjoyed each other's company. Dad graduated from St. Joe's High School while working part-time as a bike messenger for CN with his buddy Joe Angel. The two of them worked their way up the ladder of the company and Joe was very much a part of the family. I remember the fishing trips he would take to Nordig in the summer and the many golf games we all shared. During his time with CN, he oversaw the installation of the communication system in Northwest Territories. He eventually moved all of us to Hay River to become the director of the Northwest region. He was given the nickname Alexander Graham Bell of the North as he was installing, installing phones in communities that had never seen a phone before. That was quite an adventure for all of us, remembering the cold winters and the summers of mosquitoes and horse flies, but the fishing was great, and Dad would take us often. After two years, we returned to Edmonton and lived in a modest home on 79th Street. It had a very large yard, and every year after the garden was harvested, Dad would build us a skating rink where all of us kids learned to skate and play hockey. While working for CN, Dad started to invest in hotels, starting with the Rex and moving on from there. That is where all of us boys got our first jobs, as dishwashers, bartenders, cooks, waiters, and maintenance men, or maintenance boys, I guess. That is where my career started, and I'm working in my dad's hotel still. I spent a lot of years working for him and with him as he taught me the trade. His peers look at me and say, I have a good work ethic, and that I received from him. The, hotel, the hotels did quite well for him, and we eventually moved on an acreage in Sherwood Park. There was a lot of fun to be had out there, and Dad supplied us with all the toys we needed. At that point, I was old enough to drive, and since all my friends lived in Edmonton, I needed wheels. I'd been working for a few years and had saved up some money, but not enough to buy a car. When I found out what I wanted, I was told I would need a co-signer. Of course, Dad to the rescue. I will never forget what he said to me just before I signed the papers for the loan. He said, you do realize if you sign those papers, you will be in debt for the rest of your life. And he was right. There was a time that we lost the hotels due to the first Trudeau years. I talked with Rob about that last night and said, is that really politically correct? He said, say it, it's what dad would say. That was the second time dad retired as the first was actually just a change from CN, although he did retire with full standing from the CN. That was a turbulent time for all of us and the first time I ever saw my dad feel defeated. It took a while for the wounds to heal, but he eventually came back to his old self. An opportunity came up as the business industry settled, and dad got back into the business at the Dover Hotel, which we still have today. For a while, we got involved with buck or two stores, and of course, dad was the financier and helped us all. By this time, I had a stepdaughter, Kaylee, and a son, Teague, 
who love to come to the city and see Bob and Dee Dee for Christmas, birthdays, and holidays. It was always a fun time, and they both still talk, talked about it when we were heading home. We always had to stop by the hotel for breakfast, and since there was no coffee shop, we would eat in Dee Dee's office. And they would get $10 each to buy something while they were on the road. Teague and I moved back to Edmonton, and he was into kart racing, and Dee Dee was his biggest fan. He was with all the grandkids, never missed a race, and was our biggest sponsor. In the winter, Teague played hockey, and Dee Dee was always in the stands, again with all the grandchildren. He was a full-time cheerleader. Now Teague and Vanessa have a child, Sophia, who also loves her Guido very much, and will miss him. In the last days, when Dad was in more pain, that he would let us know on Father's Day every time one of the great-grandchildren would come into the room, his face would just light up and he would try and talk to them. Memories from Charlene. I have so many memories of Dad. I remember the rides on his feet and horsey rides on his back all the weekends at the park and on picnics and going to the lake. He always worked so hard. So that he could give us more than we needed. The hours of babysitting. And I remember him walking Kevin around for hours. Because he would cry if he sat down with him. My boys have so many memories too. Here are some of them. Sleepovers with swimming, then popcorn and a movie. Barbecue steaks done on the charcoal grill with that big hot rod to start the coals. Golfing, playoff oiler games, New Year's Eve with Mr. Bean movies, pinball machine, and D always saying, sure we can play, but I'm pretty tough, you know. Nights of Columbus Christmas parties, tractor rides around the acreage, going to arcade games at the 50th Street office. Dee Dee always taking all the videos and pictures of all events, which reminded me of one of the videos of Kevin. Dad would always have the video camera, and he'd go around and try and egg people on to make comments and talk and we weren't exactly all that into that at one time he was really working on kevin and kevin wasn't saying anything he's just looking down and he's on him and on him and finally kevin looks up at the camera and he goes my mom told me not to talk with my mouth open. i love that video other memories of the kids is digging for change in Dee Dee's chair. We'll miss you so much, Dad. You were such a wonderful father and grandfather. From dawn on family. The most important things in Dad's life were his faith, his family, and his friends. He was very selfless and always put others before himself. Anytime family or friends had a crisis or just a small problem, dad was the first one there to help and the last one to leave. He was very comforting as a child to know there was no problem too big to ask dad for help and the outcome was always good. As children, we celebrated birthdays and holidays with the Ozus family and our grandparents. We always look forward to those celebrations and have fond memories of spending time with our families. That tradition still carries on today. Along with the importance of faith and family, Dad also taught us the importance of generosity, patience, truth, humor, courage, hard work, and hard play. Not only was Dad the first to help in a crisis, he was always the first one to arrive at a party and the last one to leave. 
mom and dad's annual Christmas party was always the best celebration of the year. And dad loved to host this party and celebrate with his family and friends. Dad is loved very dearly by his grandchildren as well. My boys stayed with Bob and Dee Dee many times when Debbie and I were on business trips. The boys still talk about how much they enjoyed staying with Bob and Dee Dee and how Dee Dee always had fun activities for the boys. So I had to ask myself, who was Ted Carroll, my father? Who was he in the world as a person? To me, he was someone who did not talk the talk. He just walked the walk. I recall how much he despised lawyers. A handshake was his word, and his integrity was second to none. He was a strong, silent type, like the captain of, of a team that did not say much in the dressing room, but led by example. So what are some of those examples? To start, Dad liked to party and have a good time. He was the host with the most. But a party was never about how much fun he was having. It was all about his guests. We had many family gatherings and those Christmas parties. Once he had 150 people at our house for a Christmas celebration, and boy, did everyone celebrate. You just had to make sure you were not on part of the dish cleaning committee. Dad had a love for Hawaii, and it all started with Mom and his honeymoon. I still remember seeing the slideshows uh, at their time at the Kodak Hula Show. Over the years, they went to Hawaii several times, and always with different people. Now, with Dad being the host, he had to take them to all the hot spots over and over again. Always the Polynesian Cultural Center, and always the Kodak Hula Show. He saw that show so many times, I'm sure he could have directed it. When he went to Hawaii as a family, and I saw that on the beach, it was hard to understand why Hawaii. So picture this. Dad in shorts, dress shoes and black socks, wearing mom's big beach hat and her big sunglasses, hiding from the sun in the skinny shadow of a palm tree. That was dad in Hawaii. All pardon aside, my dad was a very spiritual man. Going to mass as a family was very important to him. One of the memories I still have as a very young child was seeing dad kneeling at the foot of his bed, praying every night before bed. He was all about helping people. If he saw someone being taken advantage of, he stepped in and made a difference. Dad was managing at the Capilano Motor Inn and had a 24-hour janitorial service that mostly looked after um, with one family that worked for the cleaning service. The family did an incredible job, but when he found out how much the company was paying them, he did not stand by the sidelines. He called in the father and the son for a meeting. He helped set up a company, paid them the contract price directly, and changed their lives. Many years later, when Dad was managing at the Dover Hotel, many of the patrons living there were on pensions and did not have a lot of support. At the beginning of each month, they had a lot of friends and were having drinks in the bar. But a few days later, when all the money was gone, so were the so-called friends, and they really struggled. Once again, he could not stand by. He talked to the individuals and set up a program. Pension checks came in, monthly rate was paid, and the rest of the money was divided up as an allowance throughout the month. Yeah, seemed simple, but there was a catch. You could not get your allowance 
until you brought in a bill that you had a meal in the restaurant. Perfect. Rent paid, at least one meal a day, and a little cash. All is well again. I know you've heard the saying, give them just enough rope to hang themselves. Dad's approach was just a little different. He set you up to succeed, handed you the entire rope, and said, have at it. If perhaps you failed, he was there to pick up the pieces, but you were always given your shot to succeed. I have to go back to the parting again, because, Mom, I have, a, I have a question for you. Why do I know all the words to hang down your head, Tom, do Lee, and when the saints come marching in, or when the saints, oh, and my favorite, where have all the flowers gone? <laughs> That's his mom's favorite, too. But I won't, oh, no, one more. No, 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 no. Let's all do this thing. <laughs> over and over and over. We never slept. And the banging on the ceiling <laughs> with them dancing. Early Wednesday morning, I was talking to Mom after Park Memorial had left. And she said, I can't believe he's gone. I prayed so hard for a miracle. Sometimes we don't realize the miracle God has in store for us. God kept Dad with us as long as he could, but he also kept a close watch. As soon as it got to be too much for him, he sent the angels down. That evening, I was sleeping in my bed, and the phone rang, and Charlene had told me what had happened. This was very bizarre to me, because I haven't left my phone ringer on my phone for about the last four years. I faithfully turn it off all the time. And that night, I had not. And I'm so happy that that had happened. Because when I went to the house and saw Dad, and saw him resting there peacefully, that was a nice picture to have to leave. Dad, say hi to Bob and Edie Carroll, and Bob and Edie Satchew, and especially to Uncle Rick, and your best bud, Joe Angel. Now let's say a prayer. Oh, I have one more thing. Mom, this is for you. And this is from Bishop Stephen. My love and blessings to all of you. Also, please reassure your dear mother of my prayers. God bless you, Ken, with faith and kindness and love as you help your family. Now let's say a prayer that Jesus taught us to pray for Dad. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory. And today, the glory is all yours, Dad. There's a good, there's a celebration in heaven today. Because they know it's Dad's birthday today. (laughs) 
Happy birthday, Dad. We'll miss you. I will have the Panahita service. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy the mortal, have mercy. See on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and forever and ever. Amen. Trinity, most holy, have mercy on us. Cleanse us of our sins, O Lord. Pardon our transgressions, O Master. Look upon our weaknesses and heal them, O Holy One, for the sake of your name. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and forever and ever. Amen. Our Father, who Lord art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, power, the glory are yours, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. With the just spirits who have reached their end, give repose to the soul of your servant, O Savior. Keeping him in the happiness of life in your presence. O oh, you who love mankind in your abode, O oh Lord, where all your saints repose. Give rest also to the soul of your servant. For you alone love mankind. Glory be to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You are the God who went down into Hades and loose in the chains of those in bondage. Also to the soul of your servant, O Savior, give reap. Now and forever and ever. Amen. Only chaste and immaculate virgin, who gave birth to God without seed, intercede before him for the salvation of his soul. Have mercy, God, in the greatness of your compassion. We pray you hear us and have mercy. Us for the us for the us for the We pray for the repose of the soul of the servant of God, Ted. 
and the forgiveness of his offenses, voluntary and involuntary. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And the Lord God may place his soul where all the just repose. Let us ask God, our immortal King, our God, for the mercy of God, the kingdom of heaven, the forgiveness of his sins. Let us pray to the Lord. God of spirits and all flesh, you trampled death. You made the devil powerless. You gave life to your world. And now, Lord, to the soul of your servant, Ted, grant rest in a place of light, a place of verdure, a place of tranquility, from which all pain, sorrow, and mourning have fled. As a good, loving God, forgive every sin of thought, word, or deed that he may have committed. There is no one who will live and not sin. You alone are sinless. Your justice is everlasting. Your word is truth. For you are Christ, our God, are the rest of the resurrection, life, and repose of your servant, Ted. And we give glory to you with your eternal Father, Holy, good, life-giving Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Wisdom. May the Lord God and by former glorious Ever virgin, you gave birth to God the Word. O true Mother of God, we magnify you. Glory be to you, Christ God, our hope. Glory be to you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Give the blessing. Christ our God, who has power over the living and the dead, through the prayers of his Immaculate Mother, the holy, glorious, praiseworthy apostles, our venerable, godly fathers, and all the saints, will place the soul of his servant, Ted, who has departed from us in the abodes of the just, who give him rest in the bosom of Abraham, and number him among the just, have mercy, for he is good and loves mankind. Amen. In blessed sleep, grant eternal rest, Lord, to your ever-to-be-remembered servant, Ted, and make his memory everlasting, Vichnaya Pamya. God, Jesus Christ, who has given his divine authority of disciples. Forgive your spiritual child. Whatever sins you may have committed in your life, forgive me, God, forever and ever. viewing.
that save a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now am found, was blind, but now grace that taught my heart to fear, and grace my fear relieved. How precious did that grace appear the hour I first believed the Lord has promised good to me his word my hope Secures. He will my shield and portion be as long as life endures. When we Ten thousand years, bright shining as the sun. We've no less days to sing God's praise than when we first begun. Alleluia, Alleluia,
Let us stand and listen to the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord, glory be to you. Martha said to Jesus, If you had only been here, my brother would not have died. But I know that even now, whatever you ask of God, he will give you. Your brother, Jesus said to her, will rise again. And Martha replied, I know he will rise at the resurrection on the last day. But Jesus said, I am the resurrection. If anyone believes in me, even though he dies, he will live. And whoever lives and believes in me will never die. Martha, do you believe this? Yes, Lord, she said, I believe you are the Christ, the Son of God who was to come into the world. Glory be to you, o Lord, glory be to you. Holy God, holy and mighty,